Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos. Today I'm going to be featuring a dream board theme. So what exactly is dream board? Very quickly, I'm going to talk about this as I'm going to be featuring these uh, in the upcoming videos. Dream board is a tweak that allows you to change your whole UI, not just the you know the basic theme that you usually get when you jailbreak. Dream board allows you to change it all. It allows you to change your icons into different settings. It allows you to mimic. Uh, there's themes out there that mimic stuff like Windows Phone 7 or Android versions or you know different other smartphones out there very 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 cool tweak and if you really really want to change your interface on your iPhone this is the tweak to do it dream board it's free though the themes that you get with it are either paid or free in this case I'm gonna be showing you a, a paid theme that I paid about one dollar and 49 cents for it's called classy HD there's two versions of it I got the original one not the white one uh, and again this is a dollar fifty uh, so if you're you know depending you know deciding whether you want to spend the money on it in the city repo uh or the city store then you can kind of see this video to see how the theme is so you can see here the lock screen is like so uh it just shows the little background here uh along with the date and it says drag down to unlock so you're not you can't do any uh sliding left or right to unlock uh, you have to go straight down and you can see here this is classy hd very very nice very very different from the original home screen you have your clock here at the kind of the centerpiece of the main home screen that you can click and that will take you into clock. Uh, it shows you the time and it actually, you know, you see the seconds there because it ticks. Um, other than that, you have your four basic icons, your mail, your calendar, your camera, your app store. Now you also have a couple other things I want to mention that are going to be there by default. For example, if you have Insulus here and you don't have the actual Insulus app, that's because it comes by default with this theme. So I installed this theme. I didn't have Insulus installed. Insulus is like allows you to download like uh, free apps, people crack apps and stuff like that in there. Um, but if you don't have it installed, it's kind of just a blank button. So that sucks. Um, I don't really think you can remove it unless you know your way around iFile and stuff like that. Another example of this is the iPod button. It doesn't work for me. I actually have to double tap and pull up the actual iPod through there. Other than that, it won't work. Next, I went to the Photos app there. Um, anyways, so that's kind of two flaws. I mean, again, you can't really move these icons around. That's the only flaws so far I've seen about this. But I don't think the iPod button issue is due to this theme because I've had it in two other themes. Uh, but the Insulus issue is kind of related to this uh, theme itself. Anyways, like I said, you have these buttons around here. You also have the top apps. So all your apps that aren't on this homepage get stuffed into this kind of drawer or big folders of apps. So you get all your apps kind of overlaid here and you can, again, scroll through to see them all um, and again it alphabetizes them if you have a lot it's kind of a you know a hard way to navigate through but again it's better than having them all on your home screen on the right like I mentioned earlier you have your Cydia you have photos contacts maps iTunes and if you have Insulus Insulus will also be there Twitter calculator YouTube Facebook notes and uh, Safari so all your social content is kind of located on this last page and on the very left you have this little Facebook widget now this basically is just a small Safari window embedded in and you can actually log in here and you can scroll through. I know it's kind of, you can't really see much because of the glare there, but um, you can log into Facebook and see your, your uh, what do you call it, your Facebook news feed and all of that. Along with that, at the bottom you have your basic buttons that would replace your dock because you don't have a dock with the theme. You have SMS, phone, and settings. Obviously, all would take you uh, corresponding to what they say. And at the top, you have the iPod button, like I said, the apps button. And this Dreamboard button will just take you back to the Dreamboard interface. I have a couple other themes going to be featured in some other videos uh, coming up. So again, this is Classy HD. You can see some of the other themes I've purchased and or just downloaded because they're free. Anyways, um, anytime you install a new app via the App Store or City App Store, you have to respring uh, Dreamboard in order to see that application show up in the apps layout. Other than that, guys, Classy HD is a really cool application. Uh, or theme, I should say, and uh, very if you're very very simplistic, if you want something that's easily organized, uh, not too much, but also provides a whole new interface, and it's really gonna if anybody else uses your phone, it's really gonna you know shock them if they've never seen any Dreamboard themes. Anyways, guys, this is Adrian here from the Digital Dojos. Hope you guys enjoyed this theme. More theme overviews to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Head over to DigitalDojos.com for more content. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment, and subscribe.